Welcome back everybody. This is Shadow Drone. I thought I would post a quick video that I'm on a little project that I'm doing today. Um, basically it's a radio mod um, for the Tyrannus QX7. Okay, and what it is, it's installing a charging port, as you can see here. So uh, I'm getting, uh, to try to take the battery in and out every time is a real pain which we all know, and you figure a company like Tyrannus would, you know, figure that they would make their radios with a charging port. I mean, come on, that just makes sense, right? Well, go figure, right? So what I've done is I've purchased some components, all right, which I am going to basically convert my old radio to a chargeable radio. Okay, and basically what I've done is I've, I purchased the uh, charging port, okay, and I purchased an S2 extension cable, which is silicone, and I removed the center wire, okay, and I also had to purchase some of these uh, drill bits at Harbor Freight, which was like seven bucks to do it right. Um, I forgot what they're called. Uh, I think they're... Anyway, you guys, this is what it looks like. So, long story short, I went ahead and drilled a hole where I want the port to be, and it came out really clean. And then, of course, you put the charging port in here, like that. And you cut the cable right about here on the male side, say so about right there. And then you take the positive and negative and wire them together, technically like that, so they're together. All right, see that? And then these are attached to the charging port, positive and negative leads. And then what you do is you basically take the male connector, plug that into the radio, and then the female connector is then the battery. So when you plug in your charging um, wire, it goes into the radio, of course, the radio is turned off, so the electricity goes straight into the battery and charges it that way. Um, easy way, quick and easy. You figure, you know, companies as big as FR Sky would have come up with that originally with the radios, considering rechargeable batteries have been out for how long now? But like I said, I'm not the one that runs the company. So if I was, there'd be a lot of changes made. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's my project for today. And um, that's going to be on this radio. Now, I recently purchased a new radio to go along with uh, my hobby. And um, just to really touch on this, because it's still a brand new radio for me. And uh, basically what I wanted to do is I wanted a second radio for my larger models. And then a, another uh, radio for my smaller models. And to be able to run two different uh, OSs as far as uh, a lower version of uh, OpenTX on the white one and then the latest version on the new radio. <clears throat> um, so what I ended up doing originally, I ordered another QX7 radio. Um, basically the same one as this one. Okay. And just in black. And uh, they ended up, I got it on, uh, on the, uh, what was it, uh, the Black Friday sale on Amazon. I forgot what they call it. But anyway, um, got it for 99 bucks. Not a bad deal. And they sent it to me and I, you know, I got the box and I noticed the seals were broken. And as soon as I unpackaged it, I immediately knew, oh great, this is probably a return. And sure enough, the radio wouldn't power up. And I tried multiple different batteries. So um, I ended up having to send the radio back. And at that point, uh, the following day, amazingly enough, because I didn't really want to spend too much money on a second radio, you know, because um, basically the QX7 has been beautiful for me and it meets all my expectations and it does what I needed to do. Um, I kind of went back and forth about getting another QX7 exchange or just spend a little extra money and get a better radio. And since I got a, a refund uh, from my uh, homeowner's thingy, and I decided, and I'll just take the money and put it on a better radio. 
but I still want to stay within a radio that I'm comfortable with. So what I ended up doing is I purchased the QX7 S model with a carbon fiber, which is this one. It was about 150 bucks more, but it also came with a long range module. Okay, so not a bad deal, you know, as far as the radio goes. I, I purchased it, it came with the upgraded gimbals, the digital gimbals and the updated uh, thumber uh, adapter things. And uh, it came with, uh, you know, the protectors and whatever. Like, there's different models out there that come with different things. And it also came with a new battery case for 18450s, I believe, the number of the batteries. I ordered some of those. They should be arriving today or tomorrow. Um, for the price and to have a better radio, I figured, what the heck, right? So... Um, I've already upgraded this radio to the latest OpenTX, which is 2.2.3.10. I did that yesterday, and um, today I'm going to transfer over my larger models to this, and then I'm going to fly very carefully for a few weeks uh, using this radio, and um, I'm going to, just to play it safe, I'm going to mate this radio as the primary radio and I'm going to set this one up as a trainer. So in case anything goes wrong with this radio, I have the ability to take control using my backup radio. Um, and I'm only doing this right now because it is a new radio and you know the old saying, the burn-in time. Um, if it's going to fail, it's going to fail within the first 30 days, I always say. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> And of course, uh, I bought a second radio, so if I want to train somebody to fly, I can do that by using both radios and, uh, you know, go that route. So uh, I will not be doing the recharge mod on this one until this has passed the time for return, in case something goes wrong, and so I don't void the warranty. Uh, once it's out of warranty, then I'll switch it over to the charging port. So, and the thing is, with this setup, you know, popping the batteries out of the tray is not the same as having to unplug it every time to charge the battery. So, you're not really throwing in the wear and tear like you would with, you know, the other setup where you're using this battery pack, okay, which is what the other radio does, uses. I also bought an extra one of these as you can see, because I was going to use it in this radio. So it's, like I said, I have an option. Um, yeah, so that's basically where I'm at. Um, my overall um, analysis of this radio, considering I haven't really actually used it yet, uh, except playing with the software, it feels good. It feels sturdy. Um, it looks nice. Uh, the... It's not really carbon fiber. It looks almost like it's uh, hydro dipped, but um, it feels, it doesn't feel cheap. Um, I like the way they recessed the switches from the other QX7. They set the switches further forward on an angle. So you don't, for those of you that are pinchers, you don't hit the switch by accident. Um, all in all, not a bad radio. Um, if you're going to spend the money, uh, it's, it's one of those things. Um, if you're a beginner, um, and you don't want to spend 250 bucks for this radio and you just want to get started, the regular QX7 you could pick up for a hundred bucks is probably your best bet because even this radio is set up for the modules. Okay. And it's a hundred dollar radio. Um, you're basically paying for the carbon fiber looking case, the upgraded gimbals, okay, these little attachments for the thumbers, and a, a few little aesthetic designs with the switches. Um, all in all, it's the same radio. All right. It is digital instead of analog to digital and so on and so forth, but uh, for 250 bucks for a beginner, eh, stick with the regular QX7 for now. Um, because like I said, you know, you're, uh, this hobby, you're gonna end up buying more radios down the road anyway. But my, my argument is why spend a ton of money on a radio 
if you're not going to pursue the hobby, okay? Um, which happens a lot. People go out, they buy all this really nifty stuff, and then they use it once or twice, and then it sits in a box in the closet, and then it's never used again, or, you know what I mean? So keep that in mind when you decide to do this hobby, and also keep in mind that this is not a cheap hobby, okay? You will spend money, and um, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to get on finishing this radio mod and uh, give it a shot. So thank you for joining me today, and I uh, hope you guys have a good weekend. Um, stay safe, fly safe, and uh, we'll be seeing you. All right, guys. Take care. Thank you.